Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Two people have died in a fiery crash over the weekend in Rapids Parish on Highway 112. Troopers have not released their names yet. They say that happened shortly after midnight Saturday when the driver of the car lost control, left the roadway, and ran into some trees. That car then caught fire. Natchitoches drug agents arrested a local man for robbery and theft. It's 24-year-old man Freddy Antunes Matuti. Police say he was taken into custody at an NSU construction site because he's wanted in Orleans Parish. They say he's awaiting transfer to that jurisdiction. Grant deputies say they've recovered a shed full of items stolen in Rapides Parish. And they are, they've arrested 27-year-old Charles DeWitt Leckie of Pollock. They say that suspect also had an illegal shotgun. And his home was directly connected to a utility pole so he could steal electricity. Martin Park residents in Alexandria spent part of their weekend learning about public safety. Representatives from fire, police, and EMT agencies handed out information and answered questions about ways to stay safe. One of the most important things that uh, we want to share with the community from these vendors is when they come out, they have literature, they have information and guidelines to help those individuals learn about the things that they offer for our city, uh, parish, and state. It was also a fun day for kids with a bounce house and snacks. This is the sixth year for Public Safety Day in Martin Park. Don Pearson was welcomed as a special guest today at the monthly North Rapids Business and Industry Alliance meeting. Pearson is the Secretary of the Department of Economic Development and is currently working on business growth and recruitment here in Central Louisiana. We can expect great things to happen here in Central Louisiana because we have so much to work with. We've got a great existing industry base. We've got England Air Park uh, with the port here. Uh, all the pieces are in place for great things to happen in the not too distant future. We're certainly pleased to see more than 22,000 jobs created across our state over the last 12 months. We really feel like there's great momentum in Louisiana today. Pearson was appointed as Secretary of Louisiana Economic Development back in January of 2016. His duties focus on economic development programs, job retention, and creation efforts throughout the state. An outreach event for the Restore Louisiana program welcomed residents to the Martin branch of the Rapids Parish Library. Representatives of the program were on hand to help homeowners affected by the 2016 floods in applying to the state's homeowner assistance program. Answered questions and provided laptop computers to help residents fill out the survey for that program. We are here to assist with filling out the survey, which is the first step in receiving assistance for this program. Um, there is a reimbursement component available as well as a repair component available. So it doesn't matter which, it doesn't matter where you are in the process. You just need to fill out the survey. Filling out the survey is critical in receiving assistance is the first step. So even if you're an affected homeowner and you don't think that you're going to qualify, still please fill out the survey. You can find out more about the program and complete that survey online if you have not done so yet at restore.la.gov. Well, it's been a stormy start to the work week. Meteorologist Ross Whitley is here with a first look at our forecast. Yeah, plenty of rain out there today. We saw rain showers off to our west early today, filling throughout the area. But you really can't tell it by the rain gauge at the airport. Only one one hundredth of an inch reported. It did rain out there and there was plenty of rain all across the area, only getting to 80 degrees today. And that was thanks to all the cloud cover and the rain showers out there. Normal for this time of year around 92, still very humid. And we've got plenty more rain in the way. We're also going to be watching heat building into our area. Unfortunately, as we go into midweek, I'll have the details on that coming up just a little bit. All right, thank you, Ross. This Saturday, the Dixie Girls Tournament kicks off their World Series here in Alexandria. The games are going to start July the 29th. Just come on out to Johnny Downs if you want to volunteer or be a part of the program, and we'll be more than happy to have you. Yeah. I look forward to see really the girls' faces when they come in and they get a chance to play in the World Series. For more information, you can visit Dixie.org. The City of Alexandria's Community Services Division has partnered with Laniap Theater Company for a summer youth theater camp. It's the Elma Actors Drama Camp for children ages 7 all the way up to 18. Every day from 8 to noon, kids attending the camp will have fun with acting games, using their imagination, and learning the basic skills of acting. 
a brand new thing that we're hoping will become an annual thing that we will do. Uh, we have ages from seven all the way up to 18 who are going to be partaking in drama classes. That means uh, drama, drama games, drama classes. They're going to do monologue, song. There's going to be a big group number, and they're going to perform a show here at the end of this week uh, that you can come and see here at the Coughlin Saunders Performing Arts Center. The camp runs until the end of the week. There is still time to sign up your child. You can contact the Lanyap Theater Company or check out its website for more information. A retired mechanical engineer spends his time volunteering at science camps at the Rapids Library. The science camp consists of three weeks of basic engineering. Campers will learn how to create a dusk to dawn lights, doorbells, and even electricity. Again, teaching these classes as a way to reach out to the younger generation and help encourage them to understand technology better. The uh, ongoing classes during the year at the Rapides Parish Main Library, once a month it's called Makerspace, and those classes will be much shorter, but we will be looking at science and doing hands-on activities on the first or second Tuesday of the month. The current science camp is full for the next three weeks, but you can sign up for Makerspace, a year-round science camp. For more information, contact the Rapids Parish Library. Enter to win a carport from Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. An $800 value in the color of your choice, plus option to upgrade to something bigger at Quality Outdoor Products. To enter, register online, on Facebook, or Twitter. Enter daily to increase your chances of winning. This carport could be yours from KLAX TV and quality outdoor products in Leesville. See official rules at KLAXTV.com. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Dew points still ranging in the mid-70s as we go into the overnight hours. Only allow our low temperature to drop around 74 degrees. About a 30% chance that you still hold on to a shower out there, but the rain did a good job at stabilizing the atmosphere. What I mean by that is as we watch that rain move through, didn't really see much rain build up behind that. That was thanks to the cooler air aloft. Looking at the day planner for tomorrow, well, more of the same except for sunshine instead of rain like we saw today. 74 degrees, partly cloudy as you wake up by noontime, 83 degrees, only a 10% chance of rain in by the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies out there right around 92 degrees, so a very seasonable day as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Unfortunately, that's going to change as we get into the mid part of the week. So tomorrow, fairly nice day, pretty average where we should be this time of year. And then as we get into the day on Wednesday, unfortunately, we're going to be seeing the heat building and isolated storms also back in the forecast once again. And temperatures are going to be exceeding most places 94, 95 degrees as we're going to have plenty of sunshine out there even as we go into the latter part of the week. Isolated storms really are going to be few and far between. It's going to be downright hot out there. Monsoon moisture still going on in the Mountain West across the central part of the country. This high pressure system is going to eventually slide right over the top of us. And what that's going to do is it's going to kick out all the moisture. So it's going to be very, very hot out there. And so we're not going to have any chance at seeing those storms build up because that high pressure system will be in control. So what you see here off to the right of me is that that moisture will be moving on out and this high pressure system will be building in. Forecast lows out there tonight right around 74 degrees depending on where you're at about 20 to 30 percent chance so you'll see a shower overnight tonight. Really no chance of rain for tomorrow just an isolated storm potentially in the afternoon and I think it'll be widely widely scattered and high temperature is going to top out right around 92 93 degrees. Now looking at the heat building over the next three days, 95 by Wednesday could be 96 or 97 by Thursday. Luckily, we do get another storm system in here for the weekend and even a cold front. Yes, a cold front at the end of July will drop the temperatures back down into the 80s. And that is some dang good news for all of us as we head into Saturday and Sunday. We'll see those storm chances and of course the heat will return back to next week. That's a look at your seven day and your weather, Scott. All right, thanks Ross. 
Science, technology, engineering, and math, commonly known as the STEM skills, are critical for an increasing number of careers. But education researchers say some Latino children are starting school behind their white peers. With Latinos accounting for one in four of all kindergarten students, researchers call this disparity alarming. Jessica Sanchez has more on what parents can do to make math count. A police officer, a construction engineer, an airline pilot. So many things kids can be when they grow up. A baby doctor. Quisiera ser una maestra. Sí, muy bien. Or a teacher. But education researchers say by the time Latino children enter kindergarten, they are already behind in the math skills needed to do those jobs someday. There's lots of different reasons, but um, in a nutshell, one of the big drivers is poverty. Lena Guzman is a demographer who studies Hispanic children and families in the U.S. She and the researchers analyzed a U.S. Department of Education survey of 10,000 kindergartners, including 2,000 Latino children who started kindergarten in the 2010 school year. Researchers collected data over five years and found that Latino children's math scores lagged behind their white peers by about three months learning when they started kindergarten. If one of our largest and fastest growing racial ethnic minority groups among um, children is going to be lagging behind, that's going to have tremendous implications for our workforce and our standing um, internationally. Guzman says parents can use daily activities to build a math foundation. At the grocery store, count items as they go into the cart. In the kitchen, talk about math-related tasks, like measuring. Finally, read out loud. It's another chance to introduce number concepts. Everyday ways to make sure that math counts for all students. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting. Researchers found that among the Latino children who started the year behind in math skills, those who could pay attention well made the most progress in math during kindergarten. <laughs> Thanks for watching ABC 31 News. Have a great night. Weekdays. Are we ready to get fired up? Two on this. Get ready to open wide. Celebrate your summer with an explosion of our greatest grilling eats. It's our beefiest baby back burger filled barbecue summer yet. Excellent. The Chew, weekdays on ABC. Watch The Chew, weekdays at noon on KLAX ABC 31. Brought to you locally by Town and Country Meats, the best meat you'll ever eat. Enter to win free tickets to Splash Kingdom Water Park in Shreveport, courtesy of KLAX TV. Each winner gets a family four pack and a great day of fun. Enter on our website, on Facebook, or on Twitter and register to win today.